Just love those triangle boxes. Let's open it up. This is another flute from my friend up north a little bit. This is number three that I got from his uh, sale of reducing his um, the size of his collection. And this was one that I actually had asked him about first it is from Tree of Life Flutes and I kept thinking that well I should probably pass on that And as the sale progressed, kept thinking about it, and I decided that I really didn't want to pass. So I got it, talked to him on. Uh, I believe it was Sunday, if I remember correctly. Monday was a holiday here. And uh, so the post office was closed. So I took it to the post office yesterday and got here today. Pretty darn fast. Whoops, there's more tape. Boy, layer upon layer upon layer. There we go. He packs his flutes amazingly well. So the reason why I was thinking about this flute to begin with is because it is from a maker that I really appreciate the way that they make a flute and the way that their flutes play. That maker is Ed Doherty of Tree of Life Flutes. And he is the maker that I chose to create a flute out of some wood that was gifted to me that I didn't want to mess with. It was Coco Bolo. I wanted a low B. And I talked to, I think it was five different flute makers and there were a couple that didn't want to deal with the wood. Coco Bolo is a type of wood that can cause some reactions uh, to people working with the wood sometimes, just depends. I didn't want to take a chance and I didn't want to mess up the wood because I've never made a flute in that size or I hadn't made a flute in that size before at that time. Ed Doherty, Tree of Life Flutes. This particular flute is also in the key of B, but this is a higher 
range be. This is a mid. My other one would be what I would call a bass flute. Um, so this one would kind of go with that. So the more I thought, the more I thought, hmm, maybe I should get that. And this is made from uh, Flaming Box Elder. And I'm not sure what the what the rings are. Could be wenge. Not sure. Dark wood. It looks like it has uh, aromatic cedar, maybe for the bottom, the base of the block. Pretty high chimney. has some little decorative uh, dots around the finger holes. This one doesn't have his, his usual little morning star down here. Um, This has a date of 809 on it. So this is a an older flute. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's hear what it sounds like without any effects. Wow, I am glad that I chose to revisit my thinking on purchasing this flute. Exceptional. Exceptional. I'm going to try one thing. Doesn't quite warble. It kind of almost breaks and then it kind of has a little flutter in there.
Interesting. Interesting. But, oh my gosh, what a voice. Let's try it now with some reverb and delay. Wow. Love it. I'm impressed. So glad I changed my mind on getting this flute. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions of a new to me flute made by Ed Doherty of Tree of Life Designs or Tree of Life Flutes. Mm. If you don't have one of his, check them out. Wonderful flutes, wonderful flutes. Couldn't be happier with my low B that he, he custom made for me to what I was looking for. This will be a beautiful little brother to that. Wow. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the little bell down there so that you can be notified the next time that we post a video. Could be taking a look at a flute. Could be a more in-depth look at a flute like this one. That'll get a more in-depth review later on. Could be music where the Native American flute kind of takes center stage in my music. Could be solo, could be with other flutes or other instruments could be semi-traditional, it could be a little more lively and upbeat, it could be very modern with uh, electric guitars, things like that. Everything from meditation to modern music. Again, I hope you enjoyed taking a first look with me at this magnificent B4, fourth octave in the piano flute made from, uh, looks like Flaming Box Elder. Maybe Wenge on the rings, I'm not sure. Kind of a traditional looking uh, block on there, bird style block. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. <laughs>